Now, in terms of, of gender difference, mm. because uh, this uh, puzzles me when I first started yoga, it was kind of half and half back then in Uruguay where I started. And mm. now it's an overwhelming majority of women practicing and men are not practicing so much. Why do you think that happened? Maybe because men are more left brain oriented to some degree using their sort of reasoning mind and their drive to get ahead in the world, right? To earn a living, to support a family. Men tend to be more oriented that way. And yoga practice is something that's a little more experiential. The more subtle practices of yoga are something that one needs to develop sensitivity to appreciate and to grow into. Uh, to advance in the more subtle practices, uh, one needs to have patience and uh, become more attuned on a subtle level. Um, so it seems that women are more inclined towards the more experiential things. It's a more right brain activity. Mm. Could you name one thing that yoga has for men, particularly? Mm. 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 That's a good question. I think what yoga can offer for men is a way of committing themselves. Right? In other words, men are used to uh, getting ahead in the world, accomplishing things, checking things off a to-do list as a way of uh, succeeding, mm -hmm. right? which of course is necessary in our world. Um, but men need a pathway to experience something deeper. And I think yoga gives them such a pathway to which they can commit their energy. Um, men have a lot of energy, right? They're used to expressing their energy to accomplish things. If they can uh, channel that energy in a healthy way towards spiritual pursuit instead of just worldly goals, can be deeply rewarding for them. Um, so I think yoga can offer them such a pathway mm. uh, where they can use their energy, but use that energy in a way that helps them get beyond identification with the body and mind.